This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. We have code. I wonder if it does anything. I'm going to hit run. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, your code through a file. Okay. <laughs> Write the method get image using a nested if state using nested if statements to return the correct image to draw. All right. So let me head over here. Where are they talking about? Ah, get image. Okay. And the correct limit. If temperature, ooh, this is going to be tricky. So in nested if statements, there's like what we just saw, guys, right? It's an if inside of another if. All right, so actually I'll do it below their little description here. If, let's see, temperature is greater than 75, okay? If, do we have, oh yeah, has clouds is a variable as well. Okay. If has clouds equals equals true. However, you don't need to do this, right? Isn't it a Boolean? Because you know it's true, right? You can just do this if you're checking for equality. But I'm going to do that just for clarity. All right. And then return. Ooh. All right. If it's greater than 75. Oh, and has clouds is false. Okay, I'll do an else. And then I'm going to return sun. It's not going to like this, I bet, because it wants to return down here. So actually, this is let's not have returns inside of a method. Let's do it this way. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam. Cool. Um, and there's a few ways you could have done this nested if, of course. I could have said a separate... If, else, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this is good for now. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. But, uh, cool. Fancy. And just to prove the point, guys, you don't need that because the if is true. All it's checking is if this is true. Bam. Cool. Onward.